Today, Paul's gonna teach you how to cook a blackened steak sandwich. Smells great, buddy. It sure does. Okay, Paul, before we start, do you think we should start with a beer? Today, we're only having one. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> that is a nice girl, That's sir. That's a nice beer. You ready mm. to pour it? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Oh, oh I yeah! That. I think that's the coolest beer opening situation ever. Look at that. That is lovely. 1.5 liters. Yes. I feel like just chugging that down. What's a gallon? How much is it? A gallon's 3.78 uh, okay. liters. Okay, so two of those would be a gallon. Uh, just over two of those. All right, you ready? I love Grolsch. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Mmm. One of my favorite beers. Let's start cooking. Okay. <laughs> Paul, before we get going, uh, just explain what you've done, what you've prepared. Okay, just to speed things up, I've made uh, my seasoning here, my, my blackening spice. Okay. Rub if you want to call it. Do, uh, can you please go through the list again, just for the lovely um, gentleman and lady? With seasoned salt, paprika, garlic powder, chili powder, onion powder, thyme, oregano, and black pepper. Very nice. And this is just onion, red pepper, and jalapeno. Okay, and that yeah. what you and you uh, fried it up with. I just sauteed it with a bit of olive oil. Okay. I've got some Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomato, and our ciabatta buns, which are already pre-cut and buttered with uh, garlic butter. Oh, garlic butter. Yeah. And what kind of steak did you say you got? That was New York. New York strip. Strip. Nice cast iron pan because when you're blackening, you want heavy, heavy uh, what skillet. Would, what would that, what would the difference be between that and like a nonstick? You want the you want the skillet. Really, eh? Yeah. I'd love it, it, to see somebody cook two different steaks, two different pans, and see what the actual visual is. It a visual or a taste thing? It's just a, it'll disperse the heat, and it's because it's heavy. It won't it won't drop in temperature. Oh, okay. And when you put it in, you want the seasoning to actually burn on. Oh, okay. So this is a, a meal you purposely want to burn. I want to burn this meal, Ken. <laughs> a little. We'll put the broiler on too. Over. Fire it all up. Why not? Beautiful this thing is. Reason that is a nice one. And they clean pretty easy, eh? Yep. King! That will last a lifetime. Yeah. Oh, oh. Where'd you pick that one up? Do you remember? You know what? I can't remember. It's old though, isn't it? Like you've had it for a long time? I uh, know I've only had it for a few years. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm just letting that heat up. So you gotta start it. Hey, Paul, how hot is that? It's hot. You can tell it's just about, it's at the point where it's starting to smoke now. So oh. what you do is. Uh, oh, sorry, Kenny. Sorry. We're just going to put this, dip the steak in, see what's going to coat both sides. So you can rub it or you can dip it. Well, this way I just keep my hands all nice and clean. Nice. Put it in like a touch. Oh, she's good. She's sizzling, buddy. She's, she's sizzling. sizzling. You'll see at the point when it's smoking, but you don't want it doing that too much because it'll really splatter if it's, if it's too, too hot. Uh, so if you find it smoking, you turn it down a bit. That's where you're gonna control the heat. So I, I turn it down. I'm gonna set this in there. And then we're gonna. Did you ever get like a skillet thing for the center of your? Well, it has no. I know what you're talking about. But yeah. I'm gonna turn that up. So this thing. This is gonna be a very fast one for you, Kenny, because I know you're hungry. And and when you're checking this steak, uh, how long do you think each side is gonna? It's a couple of minutes. A couple and of if minutes. If you're not sure about what you're. You don't want to disturb it too much. You can, you can sort of peel it up. You can see how it's starting to... See there? Yeah. Another trick too is if you want um, high heat, you can burn the outside really quickly. The higher the heat and keep it, like if you want it nice and rare on the inside. If you don't like it too rare, cook it and turn the heat down a little bit. But you don't want it too low because you don't you want this to burn a bit. And you can always set it on a, a pan and put it in the oven like at a lower temperature if you want it more well done. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So while that's doing that, we're gonna make a little sauce for this. With beer? Uh, we can, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna take this. Bold barbecue. It's a nice smoke. So barbecue sauce and Hellman's. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So what I'm doing is I'm toasting the bottoms first. Then I'm gonna, because the pan's smaller, so I'm gonna do the top while this is in the oven. So here we're just mixing our little sauce here. And that's all we're gonna do with this. That's it. That's, that's it. all she needs. This is just give you a nice little smoke flavor. It's gonna go on the top of the bun. And not overkill it with just straight up smoke. So here. Smoke sauce. So. Oh my gosh. Now you don't want to 
to kill it. Like if, if it's actually kill too it black. Skillet? No, if it's, yeah, it's, uh, just kill it on the skillet. Sure. If it's too black, it'll be, you don't want a burnt, burnt taste, but you want a nice, nice flavor of the spice. It could be a little bit more uh, charred than that. Maybe just put it up. So if you find you haven't done it enough or you want it darker, you give another clip. I guess I'm still learning to know when that is 100% ready uh, to be eaten by somebody who might not want it rare or want it rare. These are pretty thin. It'll, yeah. it'll be pretty quick. If I just take it off right now, it'd be a, it'd be a nice rare. And you can tell that just by, by pushing out how soft that is. Oh, okay. So it's going to be pretty soft in the center. I'm going to be here. I'm going to put the oh, boy. bottoms there. Oh, it's starting to spit. Oh, yeah. Starting to spit, people. He's going to spit on you, Kenny. No They're spitting spit, on you. No spitting on me, man. Put these in. Turn that down. So if you find the same thing, you see the steam, the smoke come up right away. It's a little bit hot. We we'll just put it down. This one here, I'm just, I basically just put it on. It. I'm just reheating it, so we're putting. It's hot. Mix your on because I want that cheese to melt on nicely. It's gonna be nice. Broiler there. How do you want your steak done, anyways? Uh, same yours. Blue. Like yours medium rare. <laughs> Blue. You like yours medium rare? I do. Or? I do. Kind of figured. Oh, look at that. She's looking good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So I'm going to char, I'm going to crank it up a bit, a char a little bit. You can call me Charmander. Charmander. <laughs> we'll put it under the steak like that. Like that. Double sausage. Oh, yeah. Got a double sausage. Nice. Okay. You can see how it's, see the blood coming through. See, now we're at a nice medium rare now. Okay. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, it smells so good right now. Turn that off. I just eat that as it is. Oh yeah. You want some extra jalapenos on there, Kenny? Sure, man. Oh, look at that one right there. I'm into the spiciness. Spicy. Oh, when you can put the cheese on top and melt it off. Yes. I'm trying to figure out how you're going to put it together before you tell me how you're going to put it together. It's my lot in life. It's not a lot, but it's my life. It's not a lot. I told you this would be fast. We're gonna be eating in no time. Nice. People like fast. Right there. And we're at the top. A little bit higher. So you just tested that just by pushing on the top to see yeah, if they're softening. Yeah. You see it's starting to soften now. Nice. And you can always take a look. Look at that's toasting nicely. See? I missed it. Sorry. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, yeah. That was good. Oh, oh, oh. It's a dripper. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we almost saved it. Nice. Okay, Paul, so what did you do? We want to eat is what we want to do. No, so you, you put so I put Yeah, so I took it out. I put them on the plates. We put some lettuce, tomato, a little bit more of the sauce on top. Nice. And then we're going to put the top here. And we're gonna stick it. Oh yeah. Oops, was uh, gonna turn that off. It's. Oh, well, it looks beautiful, buddy. That is beautiful. Is that picture time? It is picture time. Okay, Paul has plated this amazing food. It smells beyond a, a fantastic. Oh. I, I'm getting mostly the cheese smell, like the the smell of the. Uh, Swiss cheese over everything else, but I don't really care. I'm gonna eat everything just, anyway. Should I cut it in half or should I? Uh, I'm gonna go straight. Just do it. Oh, look at the, look, it's just like, this oh. is a messy meal. I think this is like a three napkin meal, buddy. Look how thick that is. Oh, it's beautiful. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what the hell? What happened? The camera's off. Uh-oh. Oh, is it off? No, it didn't turn the fucking thing like people. What happened? I just didn't turn this. When I looked up, because I'm blinded by the light, it just looked like a blank screen. Mm. So we did get all what we just got. I was blinded by the, the light. light. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Check that out. Oh. Paul's going halvesies. I'm going full on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a jalapeno on the first bite. It seems a bit spicy. Mm-hmm. The mix of veggies on there, really nice. 
the um, the barbecue mm. sauce that you chose with the mayo is lovely, but definitely the spice of the jalapenos mixed in with those veggies. Mmm. Mmm. And the bun. You know what I would have done? This is just my preference, guys. I would have mixed a bit of horseradish in with that. I love mm. horseradish with mm. beef. Me too. Because for some reason, I'm tasting. I'm not sure if you guys have ever been to Arby's, but they have a thing called the horsey sauce. So it's basically mayonnaise and horseradish, but it's been blended. So it's smooth mm. like ketchup. So it's not like all granular, I guess, that horseradish is. But uh, put horsey sauce on that. Oh. Mmm. That's the boss. Yeah. I feel like we're in a race. I want to win. I think you are. No buddy is going to win a, a clean plate award today. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, what about clean beer glass award? <laughs> the spices Paul's used uh, for this rub is exceptional. Mm. Please look in the description of the video for the recipe for Paul's uh, blackened uh, powder, uh, what do you call it? Rub mix or Whoop. blackened Seasoning. seasonings for it. So check it out in the comments, I mean, in the, in the description and uh, try it yourself. Let us know what you think of it. Um, again, take pictures. Paul and I are gonna polish these off and we'll be right back. Unless you have anything else to add at the moment? No, I don't think eat. you do, you just wanna eat. <laughs> He's more hungry than I am. Okay, mm. we'll be right back. As you can see, neither Paul or I get a clean plate of wort on this meal. That was fantastic. A lot of my stuff fell out as I was doing it and I had to like scrape it off, keep was, putting uh, it back on top. Yours actually is better than mine. <laughs> Paul did some scraping with, with his bun, I guess. I know, I was, I was at it. The steak was cooked perfectly. The spices that were on the steak, dynamite. Uh, I had a little bit more jalapenos on mine, so I was, I'm, actually, I'm actually sweating still. So it was quite spicy. I can feel that I got a burn around. So now you're getting the spice? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, well, definitely the rub that you had, uh, the spices had some uh, cayenne in it. No. Oh, you put it in because I, I did the jalapenos. I didn't want to put heat and heat. Oh, okay. Because I thought you said when you made the rub. Usually, when I, usually if I'm doing a rub and, I, and I'm not putting peppers, I'll put, I will put want to bring some heat into it, so I'll put a little bit of cayenne in there. So if you're going to put peppers in it, minus the cayenne pepper. So that's a good lesson because I thought, because you gave us the recipe for that and you said cayenne. Or just don't put as much. But you can make okay. a rub, you can make a rub super hot. I mean, I could have been of course. a scorpion. It would have been pepper crazy. Pepper oh, right, yeah. We'd be, we'd be crying right now. Yeah, we don't want to wreck another uh, mm. another awesome meal like that. And the, the choice of bun was perfect. Mm. You know, you got these elongated steaks, of Choice course. of beer, excellent. The choice of beer was amazing. <laughs> the quantity was fabulous. Uh, but the, the choice of bun, everything that you did, and the, and the cheese. I like to have doubled up on the cheese. And Make I, it a little, I, just drip out of there. And I'd like to have, like to have tried a little bit of the, the horsey sauce on the side or some Ooh. some uh, horseradish. What do you think? Would you, would you actually have tried that if yeah, I said, would be, yeah. put some horseradish yep. into that mix? Because yep. horseradish and it's beef is just my favorite. It's funny that, that you, you're not keen on pickles and I always find horseradish has that pickles. No, it's, it's so, so different to okay. me. It's the flavor and the texture. Horseradish mm -hmm. is yummy. Well, thank you very much, Paul, for dinner. You're that welcome. was great. Uh, don't forget guys, if you enjoy these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit the subscribe button, it is down over there. But if you love watching this video, help us out, give us a thumbs up, ding 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 ding, 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 ding. and we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. Ken and Paul out. Boop. Boop.